Okay, today we're gonna walk you through replacing the inner filter pack on a vehicle that has a hub filter installed. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the cooling cover from the base plate itself. Uh, we uh, recommend using a strap wrench, uh, a rubber strap wrench if it's available, uh, or we do offer a uh, filter removal tool. Uh, the filter removal tool engages in the bottom of the filter to, uh, to remove that cooling cover. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is slide the, the tool over the bottom of the uh, filter itself. And on this particular uh, Nissan, uh, this bracket's in the way. We've designed this uh, tool to uh, reverse thread it. This cylinder does come off to give you additional clearance. So now we can take and engage the filter in the bottom of the, I'm sorry, the tool in the bottom of the filter. And we're just going to remove that cooling cover. Once we've got the cooling cover off, we're going to drain the oil into the pan. And the next step, we are going to simply just wipe off some of this excess oil once it uh, stops draining for a second here. Wipe off that excess oil. And then we can grab the fil inner filter uh, itself by hand and spin that off. Place that into your drain pan to uh, continue draining there. And then uh, we want to uh, remind you is to uh, make sure there's a little bit of oil on uh, the threads before installing the, uh, the clean inner filter pack. Simply screw that right onto the base plate itself. Make sure that's good and hand tight. And the next step is to uh, replace the cooling cover. Just wipe off any excess oil out of the, the cooling cover itself. And then we're just simply going to spin that back onto the base plate. We, again, we want to make sure there's some oil on those threads. So you can use some oil we got there. And then we're going to spin the cooling cover back onto the filter the base plate. And you can get it as far as you can by hand. Sometimes you can get it all the way on. You want to make sure that that cooling cover is actually touching the base plate, which it is, and the filter is installed.